Hi, my name is Thais. I'm the owner of Biz Blueprint and I uh, just want to share something with you because I have a feeling that there might be a lot of people who are trapped in what we might refer to as marketing hell. Meaning they do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. And then instead of actually growing their business, they end up spending all their time on something that doesn't tip the scale. So I just wanted to share some thoughts with you that I've been sort of pondering and I think I'm not alone. Um, most people, they don't know what their uh, earning per sale is. Meaning they don't know how much they actually make per sale. And I hear people all the time say, yeah, but you know, I make $300 every time I sell something or I make $100 every time I see some, every time I sell something. And that's only half the story. You know, if people say that, you know, I can pay you $5 for every sale. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Every click, every, every, what, what? Are you kidding me? So it's usually when they haven't allocated a budget, when they haven't gotten the metrics in order. So let's break that down a little bit, shall we? The first part of your metrics is what it costs you to bring attention to your product or awareness to, to your offer, so to speak. So let's say that we use Facebook as a medium and we run a Facebook ad. So let's say that we pay $1 for every person who sees this ad and we show it to 100 people. Now, these 100 people out of those, not everybody's going to be interested enough to actually click on to see what your offer is all about. So on the landing page, if we say that we have, let's say that we have 30% out of those 100 going here, that means we would get 33.3 but we got around down so we have 33 people seeing it because there is no half people here unfortunately um, so if we get 33 people to the landing page not everybody's gonna buy it just because they went to your landing page so if we sell 10% on our product out of all these 33 that means we've made 3.3 sales. And again, we got to round down. So all in all, on our purchase, we've actually sold three. But if we sell three and we take the hypothetical offer of $100, that means we've made $300 on spending 100. See, that math adds up, but you know what the hardest thing to sell online on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter is the low hanging fruit. Why do you think Russell Bronson has the upsells in his funnels? Why do you think he has the tripwire or the one click upsell or the one time offer? It's simply because if you have something that costs, let's say $10, you will be spending a hundred, but you'll be making 30. That doesn't make sense, does it? So, how does Russell actually recoup? Well, let's say he spends a hundred. Let's say that he has only 10% here, but one out of every 10 buys one of his courses or buys one of his um, funnels, uh, let's say click funnels. That's $99 per sale. If one in three buys for $99 and he sold for $10 to the rest, plus the $10, that means he'll be making $130 to acquire a customer or to acquire these three customers. So if he spends $100, he's at $30 profit. See, these customers who just bought for the $10 most of them are probably going to read his free plus shipping book or his uh, um, free plus or, or free webinar or whatever it is that he's bringing traffic to his funnel scripts or yeah whatnot meaning they will go deeper down his funnel and once this takes place 
you might be able to sell them on Inner Circle or Funnel Hacking Live. Make thousands of dollars on these three. Plus, you made money when you started advertising. See, that's why it's important to know your metrics. Because sure, we might be able to tweak this number to increase it to the double amount for the same uh, price by adding some good relevancy, some good targeting, making sure we hit the right audience on Facebook. And if we did that, this number would also double. So instead of 33, we'd have 66. See, now instead of having three and a half or 3.3, .3, we would have 6.6, .6, and again, we got to round down because there aren't any half people buying. So we have six purchases. If we take the example of the 10, we still know that we aren't going on profit. But if we do like Russell, this number just doubled. That means 260 instead on six purchases for a hundred dollars. See, we can get a lot of tweaks in to make it more profitable, but you've got to start by knowing their numbers. And they aren't always super pleasant, but at least it's more pleasant than doing Facebook, Twitter, content marketing, not really knowing if any of it's actually generating any revenue for you. So track your numbers. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you uh, let me know if there's anything you need help with or if you like the video. You know, I'm, I'm open to hear your comments and your thoughts. And um, I hope you guys go out there and make it a great week. Thanks.